Hello and welcome to the Yorkshire Football Show here on TV Yorkshire. I'm Billy Banks and joining me this week is Tom Feeney and Sam Bridges. Now, let's face it, there's only one thing we can talk about this week and it's a crazy couple of days at Leeds United. Now, football fans are pretty used to the weird and ridiculous at Ellen Road, but even the most battle-hardened of fans will surely have been shocked by what went on on Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Here's the front page of Tuesday's Yorkshire Evening Post and as you can see, Sunday PM, Uwe Rosler sacked as head coach. He was then replaced on Monday morning by the former Rotherham United manager Steve Evans and then on Monday afternoon the club's president Massimo Cellino banned once again. 24 hours of sheer madness at United. I've also got with me a uh, timeline of events, everything that happened at Leeds United on Monday and Tuesday. Let's start from the very beginning lads uh, on the Good Morning Yorkshire on Radio Yorkshire 9.30am we announced that Uwe Rosler has been sacked as Leeds United head coach. We also hear shortly afterwards a rumour that none other than Steve Evans is at the Thorpe Arch training ground about to take a training session. Tom, I think you were on your way into the office at this point. Yes. What was going through your mind? Well, to be honest, I first found out about this by going on Twitter and uh, Sam had tweeted a photo of Steve Evans with a sombrero on at Ellen Road and I genuinely didn't put the two and two together. I thought this was about Ellen Road and how away teams were having so much fun winning games there. So. Then the next thing I see is a picture basically of Uwe Rosler looking quite unhappy. I'm thinking, wow, Steve Evans, you know, I didn't see this coming. I saw on Sunday a, a rumour had started that Uwe Rosler had been called to a meeting with Massimo Cellino, but I didn't think it was real. I thought he'd be in charge for the game against Fulham, and obviously he's not. There is the man, Sam Bridges, who sent that tweet. That <laughs> yeah. picture went viral a little bit yesterday and uh, quite a lot of reaction to the sombrero. It's almost like the gods knew that um, it was going to be at Ellen Road this season. Yeah, it was bizarre, really. I mean, a lot of people using that, that photo, the iconic photo of Steve Evans last season, turning up to uh, Ellen Road wearing the sombrero. And yeah, you, you couldn't write that script, really, could you? That it, a few months later, he'd be in charge of the club, the, the new head coach. Uh, and I think that was pretty much really what shocked a lot of people, not really that Uwe Rosler got sacked, but we all know Massimo Chilino's reputation for, for getting rid of head coaches uh, and doing it quite quickly. So that wasn't really the shock when it came through that, that Uwe Rosler uh, had gone. That was kind of almost, all right, here, here we go again, not really too uh, shocked about that. But then immediately um, to hear that Steve Evans was at the training ground taking training, it was that was just wow, this is just <laughs> well, unreal. And it's been different to what uh, has gone before because previously the, there has been a, a search for, for a head coach. Uh, so Neil Redfern has taken caretaker charge in previous regimes. This time Steve Owens is in uh, and it's done within the, the day. So, yeah, whirlwind and yeah, <laughs> we didn't really know what was to come either. Yeah, no need for a caretaker. All done very quickly. At 10.23am, Leeds United confirmed in their official Twitter account that Rosler had left the club. And then there's a few hours, really, of speculation wondering what's going to happen you know is Evans going to take over will it be on an interim basis will it be until the end of the season until a big moment Sky Sports News in the uh, mould of Harry Redknapp Tom it was all announced for us yeah it was and Steve Evans me and John Isherwood were in the studio basically watching this interview and Steve Evans I think the, the big line from that interview was he jokingly said well I'm not getting a five-year contract here you know even he made a joke of it and there we go you know it was all confirmed but you know our full bulletin for me, I said, right, Steve Evans is in. Didn't think anything else dramatic could happen. Two minutes later, something did. Yeah, and uh, 4.32, Legion I confirmed the news that Steve Evans is their manager, fans forums, uh, there's plenty, plenty of them with Leeds United, going uh, going quite mental, but I suppose underwhelmed really about this appointment, Sam. Yeah, I think so. I, I mean, Leeds United obviously still, still a big club. Steve Evans is, is honest enough uh, to say that, you know, he knows he's not, Leeds United fans first choice he knows he probably wasn't Rotherham fans first choice or even you know some of the clubs he's managed previously you know down the the lower end of the spectrum so he knows that he's not going to be anyone's uh, first choice but what he's got to prove so yeah I think that kind of took a lot of people by surprise I think you know you didn't get the fans didn't get a chance to have that speculation I mean there was a, a little rumor about Harry Redknapp at, at one point where <laughs> he was going to come in um, but yeah, it was it was so quick. You didn't get that chance to, to kind of throw in some of the the bigger names. It was Rosler's out. 
Here you go, here's your, here's your new manager. This was confirmed by the Leeds United Twitter at 5.03pm with um, some photos of him taking his, his first session. Evans wasn't doing much of the running himself. Um, but I tell you what, we can chuck in an added complication. Let's rewind 30 minutes, just two minutes after the announcement that Evans had been appointed as new head coach of Leeds. Chilino, disqualified again by the Football League, found guilty of not paying tax on a Range Rover in an Italian court. He's banned until the 23rd of June next year because that's the 12 months of the conviction. Um, so just another layer of complication to add to what a chaotic day there was at Thorpe Arch and Ellen Road. Yeah, it really was, you know, just such a chaotic day. But I think the point here is Massimo Chilino knew on Wednesday that this ban was coming and obviously he was able to manipulate what happened yesterday and, it, you know, he did just that but obviously now he'll he'll appeal this he said he's going to appeal whatever happened and you know the appeal will be put in place but you know it looks like it'll be another couple of mad months at Ellen Road. Well this all boiled down to a 1pm press conference on the Tuesday at Ellen Road where Steve Evans was unveiled to the media. His assistant Paul Rayner wasn't there though he was already on the team bus down to Fulham for Wednesday night's game in the championship. Here's what Steve had to say. Will you be looking to bring some players in in the short term or are you going to assess what you've got first? Well, we know quite a lot about the Leeds United squad because obviously we played them last season twice and I've I've seen them coming as a, as a manager either watching opposition to Leeds United, home and away. Um, but I think myself and Martin have, have identified uh, one or two errors. Uh, I've spoken to the president. It's, it's my decision whether we go ahead. It becomes a Martin in the the board decision whether they're financially affordable but I've identified one or two I'd like to add to the group but some talented boys in that group you know we, we've noticed right away of the of the quality of player they've got because you compare it with with the players you've just worked with. Are you going to be the question yes that's all the time who picks the team at Leeds United is that one thing that we can be assured you are going to be doing the team you see tomorrow will be your team? Listen the simplest way I can answer that is the day I don't pick the team I won't be the manager of Leeds United. Um, I have to pick the team, um, but when I met Mr. Chilino, that was never in doubt, and it was very sim very simple in terms of. I heard the manager, the new manager at Liverpool, Jurgen Klopp, says there is a lot of gifted people around Liverpool Football Club, as there is Leeds United. I would be silly not to listen to to Martin with his experience. I would be silly not to listen to the existing coaching staff and, and staff that we've kept in the football club. But I will have the first say in terms of positional changes that we need and I will have the last say in terms of players coming in, yes. You said at the end of last year, when it was the last game of the season, you came here with Rotherham, you kept them up, um, you were looking forward to doing battle with Neil Redfern again. You mentioned <laughs> the Championship, well you're going to be doing that in a few weeks, but can you believe the turnaround that's happened since then? Well, I've spoken, to, Neil's spoken to me uh, during the process of, the, of uh, trying himself to get the Rotherham United job and uh, one or two people at that club did when he was when he was down to a shortlist and he's a, he's a good man, I can't sit and say anything different. He's, he's a, He's a friend to me, and he's and I'm a friend of his. We, I messaged him all the best. He's, he spoke to me within minutes of being appointed at, at Rotherham, and uh, and Neil's been in touch within minutes of me being appointed here. So, but we look forward to doing battle. It'll be, it'll be one hell of a game, won't it? So there you go, Steve Evans, the new Leeds United head coach, speaking to the media for the first time. You were there, Sam. Uh, what do you make of his performance? I was impressed, to be honest, but I thought uh, that I would be. You know, he's, he's one of those guys, Steve Evans, and he loves to talk. And you know, he's quite convincing when he 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 opens his mouth and he, he's got things to say. He obviously had previously talked all about Leeds United as a as a football club. You know how huge it is. Yeah. So from that point of view, you know, you, you you've got a guy there that you know it is relatable to the fans. He you know he watched Leeds United in, in the seventies. You know, he's he's grown up on a. a you know, an estate in Glasgow, you know, and he's seen the the great players that he keeps mentioning, the likes of Eddie Gray, Peter Lorimer. He, he, he's seen all those, and he, and he knows all about the history, which is something that uh, I think always pleases the, pleases the fans. If you were watch that today, I, I think you can buy into you know how, just how in awe Steve Evans is of Leeds United. But just because he, he's in awe of the history of the club, I don't think he's in awe of the job because he's got so much belief in his own ability. You listen to him talk and you know, he, he really feels he, he can get in and, and make a difference at Leeds. You know, he, he, he said so much about you know his plans and the, the style of football, etc. You know, wanting to bring in players. Massimo Cellino's kind of already said there'll be no more players coming in, but you know when Steve Evans comes in, he's going to be knocking on the president's door, whoever's going to be in charge in the future, you know, demanding that, and he's going to be demanding a lot of his players and the club. So I think from that point of view, you know what you're going to get with Steve Evans. So overall, I was I was very impressed, and you know what exactly what you're going to get. 
Tommy seems to know, Steve Evans, the job he's taking on here. He's not going to shy away from it. We all know what he's like. He's a bullish character, demands 100% from his team. Do you think it's a good appointment for Leeds United where they are at the moment? Yeah, I do, because I think you've got someone who last season proved himself in the Championship. And Massimo Cellino made the point he felt Uwe Rosler was afraid to lose. And that's why he was so defensive in games. You know, Steve Evans is a manager who will believe in that squad. He'll think they can win every game. You know, I remember watching Crawley Town go to Old Trafford to face Man U and Crawley went for it. You know, he's not a manager who's not afraid to put two up front. And I think that's what a lot of Leeds fans have wanted. You, Chris Wood and Antonucci up front, you know, not just one or the other. And I think that's what Evans will do. He's a good appointment. Whether he's a long-term appointment, though, I'm not so sure. So, Steve Evans takes charge of Leeds United for the first time on Wednesday night for the away trip to Fulham. A must-win game with Leeds, 18th in the table. And we'll have full live commentary on Radio Yorkshire from 7 o'clock with Mark Wilson.